Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Copilot add-on for Microsoft Word. So we're using Copilot Professional here, which allows you to work with various Microsoft Office apps. And one thing I'm going to point out is if you have a Microsoft Office subscription, uh, you could work with your local documents, as in documents on your hard drive. Otherwise, you're limited to just documents that you have in OneDrive online. So, of course, this might change because that's what, you know, Microsoft likes to do. Okay, so we have this document, Business Security Practices for Remote Workers, stored on the local computer. We have Table of Contents, broken down into various sections here with some graphics. And then a conclusion at the end. All right, so to access Copilot from within Word, we just go to the Home tab, click on the Copilot icon. And now it's going to give you some suggestions here, such as summarize this doc in three key points. I ask some questions. Summarize here again. Is there a call to action? So, for example, if we just click on summarize this doc, let's see what it does for us. Okay, so it just kind of took all the categories here and summarize them into bullet points. Then of course you could expand on that, make it more formal, make it more casual. And then of course you could put in your own prompts. So let's say I wanted to know what is the main topic of this document? And even though this is Copilot Pro, it still tends to be a little bit slow when it comes to this type of thing. Okay, so it found the main topic based on the uh, first sentence here. And then it gives a little description of the document. Okay, so now let's see if it could tell us how many paragraphs are in this document. So 49 paragraphs. Okay, let's see if it could actually go through and find a specific word. So how many times is the word password used in this document? So found it four times. Okay, then we have a VPN section here. So let's say, what does this document say about using a VPN? So let's see if we could find this section and summarize it for us. Okay, so here's what it found about a VPN. And if we scroll down here, there's some little key points here where it found the information. So right here from this document under this section, and then this document under this section, which is right here, and this document under this section right here. Okay, let's do one more test on this document here. How many images are in this document? Let's see if we could find that for us. Okay, 19 images, which is not correct. It's actually five, so I'm not sure where it got that from. And when I tried this the other day, 
it said it couldn't find the images or couldn't answer that for me, so this is kind of interesting. So it says AI generated content may be incorrect. In this case, it was. All right, one more question here. Show me websites about using VPNs. Okay, so we got PC Mag, and if we click on this, it'll take us to the website. And then same with the others. And one other thing I want to mention is you could use your microphone if you wanted to speak your prompts, but of course you're going to have to make sure you have one and make sure it's enabled. And then you have this here if you want to view some prompts. So these are prompt examples. Okay, so now let's try a new document. So you can see when you start a new document, it gives you the Copilot prompt right here at the beginning. And of course, you don't have to use it. You just start typing as normal if you don't want to use Copilot. And you can see you could use Alt-I to draft with Copilot. All right, so when you click on the icon, it'll bring up a box right here. So you have 2,000 characters for your prompt. All right, so we're going to do write me a two-page document on the history of Henry Ford and the invention of the assembly line, break down the main events with bullet points and include any relevant dates, add a photo of Henry Ford's assembly line, then add any sources, use the citations at the end of the document. All right, so we'll see what happens here. So when you use this to create a document, it could take several minutes here. So I might have to pause and just come back when it's done so you don't have to sit here and watch it. Okay, so here is what we have for our results here. It gives us our subject, introduction, talks about Henry Ford with bullet points, talks about the assembly line. And it puts some sources there, but it did not add our images. So you can see it couldn't do that for us, but I'll show you a way around that in a second. Okay, so now we can either keep it, have it regenerate it, or delete it. Okay, so we're going to make the introduction longer. So right now it's 692 words, so let's see what we have afterwards. Okay. All right, so it's a little bit longer now. We have 727 words. All right, so let's add a conclusion to this document. Okay, so now we have our conclusion and we're up to 834 words. So once you have it all set and everything looks good, you can click on keep it and then that'll take it out of editing mode. So now it's just like a regular document. So now if you click on Copilot, you could just act on it as if it was a document you already had saved. So you can't have it change it or reword it. So now for example, if I say make the introduction longer, okay, so it didn't understand that, so let's try rewording it. 
make the introduction paragraph of this document longer. So now it says, I'm sorry, but I'm not able to directly edit or make changes to your document but it can give me some suggestions on how to make the introduction paragraph longer. Okay, so that's what I mean about it's not in edit mode anymore because once we accepted it, now it's just a regular document. All right, so now we want to find some pictures of the assembly line to put in our document. So show me pictures of Henry Ford's assembly line. Okay, so here's an example of Copilot being buggy right there because this worked the other day, so now it's not working, so we'll try something different here. Show me pictures of the Model T car. We'll see if it has any better luck with that. Okay, this one seemed to work for some reason. Okay, except the results are not that good. So I guess you could be more specific, but let's say you did find a picture you like, just put your cursor where you want it to be. Click on the one you want, click on insert, and now it puts it in the document for you. Except it ignored where my cursor was for some reason, but that's okay, we could always cut and paste it to move it where we like. Let's actually try that one more time just to make sure it was not paying attention here. Let's put the cursor at the end of the line here. Insert. Nope, still put it at the top. So once again, another example of the bugginess because this worked the other day when I was doing this. So hopefully as Copilot progresses, they'll work on these little bugs here and make the process a little easier to use. But for now, you get the idea of how Copilot works with Microsoft Word. So what I would suggest if you're going to use this is just try different prompts, see what works, see what doesn't work. And then eventually you'll have a better idea of how you could actually use this to be more productive in Word. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.